Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to use animations. This is going to be a basic tutorial. It's not going to be anything too, you know, complicated or anything. It's just going to be basically how to use these animations. There are many different ways you can use them. You can have an animation that'll just show some teleportation and then a guy would teleport somewhere or something. Or you can use an animation in a fight between two NPCs. First I'm going to show you how you can use this animation as a teleportation kind of thing. First you can obviously need a character. Just pick whoever you want. Place him just anywhere. And we're going to make the event right here. So give it to player touch so right when my player stands here, this guy will do his animation. Let's see. Okay. So, what you want to do is double click this, make an event, make sure you're on the second page, go down to show animation. Um, I named that guy guy1 and you want to have him do some kind of spell that'll make him disappear or something. Just teleport somewhere. So I'll have him cast magic. We'll have him wait about. Have him wait 15 frames. And then you want to set an event location, so set where you want this guy to teleport or something. So he's right here now. We'll have him teleport over here. Okay. That was basic, you know. Just had him do some little spell and then got him move over here. You can also have them fighting each other. So, go to here. Just delete all this stuff. Delete. So, go to the same. To make an event, go to the same page, number two, go to show animation, we'll have guy one do a special move, which will hit guy two, and he'll be hit by explosion let's just test this thing yeah sorry about the lag but this guy he did something special which caused some special uh, attack that hit this guy hit this guy over here with an explosion you can't really see that good cause I don't know why this is lagging really badly but that's what happens now obviously when you get hit by an explosion you're not gonna be just you have to stand there you're gonna get hit back like a foot or two right so what you wanna do is set a move route for the guy too, the guy that's getting hit, and you want to go and use this jump. Now, you see this X and Y stuff? I'll show you this graph. This is your X axis. This is your Y. Wait, no, this is your Y. Sorry. This is your Y axis. This is your X. 
So this is the horizontal axis, in other words, horizon, so you know that. X axis is obviously on the horizontal line, and your Y axis is always vertical line. So imagine guy standing right here, guy number two, and he gets hit by something that comes over here. So we're going to have to make his jump plus one on the x-axis to make him obviously go back. So you go plus one, hit OK. We also want him to, after he gets hit, to face the guy that hit him. So turn left, hit OK. Now you might not see this good, but it's because of this lag, but it's the general idea of how to use an ace. See how he was, he got hit back. Yeah, I know everything is, seems like this guy's getting hit first before this guy does his special move, but just because this thing is lagging. So, yeah, it's a basic way of uh, using your animations. And I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit, hopefully. Until then, till my next tutorial, which I'm hopefully going to be making soon, I will be seeing you. Thanks for watching.